Hello everyone. Sorry I didn't get a video out yesterday, but every time I tried to get the video out, I had um, I wasn't getting the all the information out that I wanted to. So I had to write I wrote some notes down today, so hopefully it goes a lot better. We're still in the quest of uh, Are We in the Last Days, even though I've changed the title name of it. I would like for you to check out my other videos if you haven't yet. And those are under Are We in the Last Days? And another thing is, I'd like to... Uh, I have a slot I have a prayer request for somebody this is a youtuber who's been having a lot of problems lately and um, I won't get into the details if you're if you subscribe to him you'll know the details but uh, his name on um, YouTube is Dabu7 and uh, Right now, he needs a lot of prayer, prayer, to keep the faith and to keep going. And Dabu Seven, if you if you by chance get to listen to this, watch this. Keep the faith. This too shall pass, and you'll be better for it. I know you're frustrated right now, but uh, you can handle it. Okay, well let's get into the scriptures now and uh, let's see what we can find out about are we in the last days. I'm going to Matthew 24 verse 37 through 39. But as in the days of Noah, Noah were so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. For as in the days that were before the flood, they were eating and drinking, marrying, giving in marriage, until the day that Noah entered into the ark, and knew not until the flood came and took them all away so shall the so shall the coming of the son of man be you know this is a perfect illustration of where we're at today for they had no time for God and today it seems like no one ever has time for God I know some people do, but as a generality, they don't. And it was all about them. It was a self-generation that we have today. It was another self-generation. Now, I'd like to look at Genesis chapter 6 and point out some things. And we're going to start, we're going to first look at uh, verses 5 and 6, and then um, 11 and 12. 5 and 6. God saw there was great, there was wickedness of man was great in the earth, and that every imagination of the thought of his heart was only evil continuously and it repent and it repented the Lord that hath he hath made man on the earth and grievest him in his heart Now in verse 6, 
chapter 6, verse 11 and 12. And the whole, the earth also was corrupt before God. And the earth was filled with, with Hamas, Hamas, or violence. That's the word I learned yesterday. That's one of the reasons I couldn't do the video is I need to learn, hear that. What was it? Oh, yeah. And God looked upon the earth, and behold, it was corrupt. All flesh had corrupted his way upon the earth. You know, this is the time before Noah actually built the the ark. Now, to say they didn't know, they couldn't tell that something was going on, is kind of a ridiculous statement in one sense in that it took many years to build the ark. We know that in Genesis chapter 5 and verse 32 it says and Noah was 500 years old and Noah had begot Shem, Ham, and Japha. Japha. And then when the flood started, he was 600. So if it took him most of that time to build the ark, which I could easily see with only three people, it could actually take up to 100 years to build it. And they, the people in that day saw him building it. They may not have understood what a flood was, but they had warning. God always warns before judgment in one way or another. Before he comes, he shows us different signs as we're seeing in this series. One thing I wanted to add to this is that we see that man's heart was wicked. Today, we have many, many ways of seeing this. We have people that want to change history, even our own president of the United States. There was great wickedness, it says here, and there's great wickedness today. And violence is all over the place. Brother against brother. Nation against nation. You know, we don't really know how many true wars there is right now. Because there's so many of them. So what are you going to do with God? What are you going to do with Jehovah? What are you going to do with Jesus Christ? You know, every time I do this, Vi do a video I show more and more proof that we are in the very last days the very last minutes of time before Christ comes he could come any time but what are you going to do with him before he comes that's the question now I would like to thank you for watching this video. I'd also like to like for you to check out my other videos. Um, are we in the last days? Parts one through 
through eight, I believe it is. Um, you can contact me through Facebook at Facebook dot com forward slash God's House of War, and I'll leave a link on the bottom. Now there's some exciting things getting ready to happen, and as soon as I can get the okay, I will be letting you know what's going on. Thank you, and have a godly day.